Hi everybody, State Rep Jeff Powell coming to you from Harrisburg and today we have to talk about something that's not easy to talk about, hate speech. Why I bring this up is when my staff walked into the office this morning, there were over 200 emails and 100 voicemails asking us to do something about a billboard, a digital billboard located along Route 422 in Worthington. Folks, we did a lot of homework on this. This is what we know. That billboard is owned by a private individual who has signed a two-year lease with the Worthington West Franklin Firemen to rent the space. The billboard sits out of the PennDOT right away and thus is not touchable by PennDOT. Um, the gentleman who holds the lease has threatened to sue the fire department if they attempt to break the lease. That's where we're at right now. Now there's a group in Pittsburgh giving out my office number right now telling people to call and raise objection. Actually, you'd kind of be preaching to the choir. I've seen the gentleman's billboards before and most definitely do not approve of them. In fact, I remember as a young boy, my father said if I'd ever used that N-word that this gentleman uses so liberally, if I ever used it in his presence, I would get a backhand. My dad was 6'7". He had some long backhands. Well, I screwed up one day, and it came out. I was probably 10 or 12. And whistling out of nowhere, I caught the left hand of my father right on my cheek. And when I got myself gathered up and I looked at him, he said, I'll bet you never do it again. And you know what? He was right. Hate speech is never right. Hate speech to me means that the person you're talking to has run out of valid ideas to solve problems you're both having. Now back to this billboard. What can we do? We are exploring all possibilities for dimming that board right now and have not yet come up with one, but we're still working on it. People in Worthington do not think like the messages on that billboard. The people of Worthington are good folk. They'd give you the shirt off their backs and they wouldn't care what color or sex or age or race you were. That's why I live where I live. Folks, stay tuned. We're working on it. We just don't have a solution yet. It's fairly fresh to us. Thank you, and my name's State Representative Jeff Pyle. I work for you.